Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang and today I will introduce you to the most powerful symbol that I know and I have tested um, you know this symbol now for nearly three decades and it will uplift anything put onto it you know into this divine blueprint and it is called up movement into your divine blueprint and it was channeled by the reiki master marion huff from saint germain and all good karma and thank to you marion for your service to the world and when i say most powerful i have encountered yet you should know that i have built copper pyramids you know with um, tubings you know and um, slept above rows of paper pyramids. You know, I taught Kundalini Yoga and demonstrated Atlantean healing ones on big shows and so on. Mm -hmm. And yes, you know, I tried the flower of life too. <laughs> you know, and so this is, let me just explain, you know, um, this is the idea of the divine blueprint. So just like a blueprint for a house or a machine, there is a template of your ideal beingness, you know, called the divine blueprint. You know, one may look at this maybe as the will of God, and, you know, but of course we also have free will otherwise. And, you know, of course there are surprises in the game. So, you know, the idea is of course God or source experiencing itself. Um, you know, so any free will deviations or biases you know, away from that ideal blueprint, you know, which of course you will uncover over the span of your life, you know, uh, will just hinder maybe, you know, or modify this divine highest expression. You know, in a crude way, you know, you could say, well, I mean, you can use a Porsche you know, to haul rocks, or you can also use a dump truck, you know, to race around in the Rocky Mountains, you know, but these vehicles are obviously may design for another purpose, you know, and so asking to be aligned, you know, with your divine blueprint is asking for mastery. Mm -hmm. and and so if you print out, you know, um, and carry, you know, around this uh, divine blueprint with you, you know, your life will change and you will develop a taste, you know, for the higher things in life, you know, uh, like losing interest in the things that no longer serve you and be warned, you know, your life will change for the better. It's like worshipping Lord Shiva, <laughs> you know, the uh, master of transmutation. Mm -hmm. And so, and also, just know, I'm not selling you anything here, you know, or later. You know, no subscription necessary. Well, I mean, to get it, you know, you have to go to my website. You know, that's the only way this can be done. You know, and you can download the image for free there. You know, no sign-up required, you know, no backups. And you can print it out on a normal 8x10 office paper. Um, but let me just, you know, tell you some stories, you know, um, about this. <coughs> um, so you get an idea. about. It. Mm -hmm. So, um, in my mind, you know, this, is, uh, this symbol is a, a combination of uh, symbols, you know, that create together a psionic machine. You know? or like a Rifian machine. And in essence, um, you know, you have um, the platonic solids, you know, in the circle, um, but they are two-dimensional representation. Of course, the platonic solids are three-dimensional, and there is a lot to be said about this. You know, um, these come from Plato. He described those, and basically the idea is that... Um, they are, have to <coughs> fit in a circle and uh, they have to have equal sides and equal angles you know and um, you know all these here are demonstrated in a two-dimensional form but of course they are actually also in 
you know, in space, 3D space. And um, these are actually the patterns that all the molecules are supposed to align, you know, which, of course, is a divine blueprint, you know, one of those grid systems, you know, um, of our reality, you know, to smoothing everything out, so to say, you know, have it all snap into place. Um, so this is a symbology um, there, and um, <coughs> again, in essence, whatever you put into this spiral there, you know, gets uplifted into its divine blueprint. Um, but, you know, uh, how does this really look in real life? So about two decades ago, I managed the only metaphysical book and paraphernalia store in Tucson. And, you know, when I started there, there was a rather dingy atmosphere in the store, you know, and I just, yeah, I didn't like it. That's not how I live. And so I asked Spirit, you know, what's going on here? And um, my eyes gazed onto one of those items and I realized um, that, you know, there were a lot of rejection thought forms on this item. You know, so, and um, also the information was given to me that, um, let's say, people that look at it, you know, they may like it, but they don't want to spend the money, you know, or don't have the space, you know, to clutter up their space. And so they reject it in the way of the fox, you know, that says, well, the grapes that I cannot reach there must be sour, you know. So they put something negative onto it. You know, it's too expensive. It is this, it is that. It's not green enough, you know, or whatever. It's not large or small enough. And all these thought forms, you know, they stay with this item, <laughs> you know, and so these accumulate over time. So um, I started putting, you know, um, I printed out like five symbols and I, um, you know, put uh, one item after the other, you know, onto these symbols. And like crystals took about, you know, five minutes, also gems. Metals took longer, like a Buddha statue who may take after two hours, or I had an Om symbol. Um, that took, you know, yeah, about two, three hours. But it had been in the store, I was told, for four or five years. So the next day, a psychic that had been working, you know, three times a week in the store for four or five years, suddenly, ah, oh, you know, what a beautiful Om symbol. <laughs> <laughs> is this new? And I said, no, this has been here, you know, all the time you worked here. I just purified it. And I mean, she, she bought it, you know, and there were other items, you know, she bought, you know, a, a day after they had been purified and they had been sitting there for years. And of course, the whole atmosphere, you know, gradually in that home um, store, you know, um, raised, you know, because it's an accumulation, you know, of things. You know, so if you are a hoarder or collector, <laughs> you know, this is quite an important tool for you. you know? Your life is going to be a lot easier. You know, of course, if you have used items, you know, the thought forms, you know, like clothing or shoes or hats you know, or other paraphernalia, um, you know, the thought forms of the owners, you know, they stay, you know, with those items. Again, um, you know, <laughs> one has to be uh, careful with this. And this is, you know, where this symbol comes in very, very handy. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, I found, you know, the uplifting effect, and I will demonstrate this a little later, is so beneficial um, that I'm using it, you know, for everything. You know, I'm sitting on it right now. Mm -hmm. And I have my water on it, you know, and I have my crystals around, you know, on it. And so and I will, you know, show you, mm -hmm. you know, how it works. So, mm, for one thing, I mean, I don't want to show you this now, but, you know, I put my water, my drinking water, you know, in a nice container um, with shungite, gold, and other goodies in there. You know, and I put it onto the divine symbol, and, you know, and then I bless it, you know, with a uh, loving chi. So, of course, you know, that's a very rejuvenating <laughs> to drink this, you know, energized um, water. Mm -hmm. But, you know, don't put malachite into your water, that's toxic. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
many many people you know lose a lot of energy you know from dark mass thought forms you know and also from water without life force and then of course after, after that you know food without life force but you by weight you know move a lot more water through your body than food so um so putting things you know, like food onto this symbol and will improve the quality of it so i had a gourmet you know blue chef um cook you know that had a bought a walnut farm you know and walnuts can be having like a little bitter taste you know I'll do a comparison and you know she definitely agreed you know that the um, you know the walnut piece that was you know on the symbol for about two minutes you know didn't have taste that bitter you know definitely better the same is for wine you know i mean all your food you know putting this on there and then blessing it afterwards also doing the process with love will really increase your health you know and probably make you lose weight you know and just you know very be more normal <laughs> so um time to give you a demonstration now mm -hmm. so um hmm. so here so first of all you know to feel um, any of those um, vibrations you sure probably should be in a higher state of consciousness higher vibration and so um, let's ask first of all does the divine beings like your high self and your spirit guides you know, protect you from anything dark or inappropriate you know to come from me to come from this video you know or anywhere else <laughs> <laughs> and that you only accept and resonate with that stuff that's for your highest good. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, and also put out that only the people that can benefit from this symbol, you know, find the symbol here. And that there is no abuse possible. Um, and, um, and, um, and so this symbol can only be used for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, all right, so... And here's the demonstration. So let's see. Here is, a, well, it's a nice Isis crystal here. And, you know, it's only cut flat. Everything is natural here. Mm -hmm. And um, so just a smile. And you probably feel kind of a happy feeling, a kind of a rising in your own body. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you may feel floatier and floatier. Mm -hmm. Just keep on smiling, you know, keep your attention to your own body. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's a kind of a rush. Mm -hmm. And tingles, you know, all the way to my hands and legs. Mm -hmm. So this crystal is being uplifted into the divine blueprint right now. You know, so and you, you know, kind of as an empath, you know, start to resonate. And, of course, you know, this crystal is very happy about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, now it seems to have kind of plateaued out. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still slightly increasing. But let's not wait like a whole two minutes here. That's what this generally takes. So, and the next step is here. I'm going to soup this thing up. Mm -hmm. And with souping up, I mean I'm going to project source love into this. You know, my um, clients, you know, that I have trained, you know, in my first session, I teach them right away how to run and access source love through their heart portal. You know, uh, many of you that are yogis or have done Qigong um, probably can access, you know, source love from heaven and earth. You know, any of those are good sources. You know, don't use your own energy. You don't have enough. Mm -hmm. So just pull in the love either from Mother Earth into your heart or from the heavens. Keep your tongue right at the highest point, you know, of your palate. That helps you, you know, run more chi into your brain. It gives you like a 20% increase and balances your brain half. You know, lots of benefits from that. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, I am ingesting source love now. I fill my heart with it. And run it, you know, through my hands, you know, as well as also from my heart straight into the crystal. And to just watch what happens. Smile like an idiot so you can feel that love and observe.
All right, there were about five hits of source left. All right, so let's go really sweet now. Mm -hmm. Here we have some strawberry rose quartz, the finest quality rose quartz you know, we can get in from Turkey. And um, let's um, run some love into this here. All right, you know, I hope you feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Not everybody will, but those of you that are sensitive mm -hmm, probably will. Now, of course, rose quartz and amethyst always go fine together. So this is for your crown chakra, you know, your heavenly connection. So you're probably going to feel a buzz, you know, above your head and around your crown so smile like an idiot have your tongue up at the palate and observe you know pay attention to your head area Oh, right. And now here's one of my favorite, you know, a huge hunk, chunk of phenakite. You know, the trippy stone, you know, highest vibration, <laughs> you know, or really up there, you know. Um, and yes, you feel already kicking it in, you know, it's kicking in, um, you know, just by being on the symbol. And I keep this pretty squeaky clean. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, and oh yeah, yeah, this feel this euphoric feeling, it goes into the higher heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to start, you know, souping this up. Yeah, my throat is like really busting now. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think you get the idea. You know, um, I can't demonstrate, you know, with food or whatever. Um, so, you know, um, you of course can, you know, um, use this symbol and print it out. You know, I have put it on my t-shirts with an iron on. You know, I send it in to have it printed out as a bedspread. You know, 50 bucks I used to pay for it. You know, it's awesome, powerful. Mm -hmm. And um, so, let us have, you know, a guided um, meditation, you know, with this symbol. Let's just give it a shot. Mm -hmm. So, um, this one, you know, you have your eyes open. <laughs> You know, and first of all, you know, ask your high self or you feel how it is, you know, um, is this for your highest good for you, you know, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, now, you know, just pull the love from heaven and earth or from source into your heart, which is always good, you know, can't go wrong on that one. Pretty much never. Mm -hmm. And then on the exhale, you know, smile like an idiot and project it into the center of that symbol. Mm -hmm. And just see what happens. <laughs> you know, very, um, very, very simple. Mm -hmm. So the deeper you breathe, mm -hmm. you know, the better, you know, all the way in, you know, and then on the exhale, you know, and come in kind of slowly, you know, not like a sledgehammer, you know, send it into center there, which will kind of um, combine this love, mm -hmm. and you know, you probably feel then the amplified love coming back, you know, it's like a yo-yo, but with an amplifier, 
you know, a nice psionic machine. And you know, also some people call them black boxes. You know, it's the technology of symbolism, so to say. Now, what you're looking at here, you know, that's actually very special. That is 3D printed out slightly, which I found, you know, give it some extra humfter. You know, probably gold wiring would be even better. Okay? And actually, you know, as you keep in running love into this, make sure you keep on smiling and use your full inhale and exhale capacity. And that you really focus on pulling in the love you know, from heaven and earth or from source. You know, the echo that's coming from the symbol, that's just a byproduct. You know, where you can increase and perfect is by pulling it in yourself. You know, the better you pull it in, like... And then... All the way out. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. Cool. So keep on pumping. Mm -hmm. Smile like an idiot and not telepathically, it means in your mind, not with your mouth, you know. And when you send this love, think, I love you. you know, it works with water, but see how it works with the symbol. You know, that thought form, in your mind, I love you. Think it nice and clear, loving you, you know, not barking it, you know, just nice and sweet and gentle. You know, like to a baby, you know. <laughs> Or oh, a cozy lover. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can sum ADR on this, you know, I just wanted to give you a taste, you know, and believe me, you know, this is awesome, you know. Um, you can um, sit on one and have, you know, one symbol under each foot. Oh my God, it is awesome. You, know? you can put a ruby, let's say, into the center of this, you know, like a flat, you know, corundum, you know, eight cornered ruby. And then you put an apophyllite on top. Oh my God, <laughs> you know, and sit above it, you know, yeah, here's, oh yeah, here's an apophyllite, yeah, check this out, mm -hmm. here Wolfgang is playing around this energy, you know, I love it, All right, the apophyllite is kind of purified right now, you probably feel the high kicking in, uh -huh. oh yeah, so these apophyllites, you know, they come from volcanic water pockets. They grow there. They're quite soft, but they're really organic chi they run, you know, way, way better than crystals. And I have really good, powerful crystals. You know? and, but uh, apophyllite, you know, natural pyramids, you know, they're not cut, you know, perfect pyramids. I've seen it clairvoyantly, you know, the laser comes out and then there's a very even spray at about a 90 degrees, very even, like a brayer brush. So, this one is peaking now, and let me soup this up. Smile like an idiot, and here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now again, you know, if you have, let's say, a deity statue like a Buddha or Krishna or Shiva or Ganesh, you know, whatever deity, even the sculpture of Mother Mary, mm -hmm, and put it on there. You know, depending on the material, you know, and as in brass may take two to three hours, maybe even four hours, you know, until you feel that high. I mean, just putting it away for an afternoon, you know, and you are... Sure, you know, you don't have to sit there next to it, to it on your thumbs. So, and, and you will feel a big difference. You know, I would say that, um, you know, for the Hindus that know, you know, deity worship, 
you know, how to do this properly, those parameters <laughs> in Punjaris. You know, this works like an Abhi shake. You know, I did, I've done many, many Abhi shakes, you know, even initiating, installing Gidis. I've been present of many. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, this is on the same capacity, I would say. You know, see the, um, this um, DD, you know, or whatever you put on there becomes a via medium to the original so treat this with respect now if you take a picture i mean if you put a picture of a loved one on there like an uncle or your son and you keep it you know there for a while you know after five minutes you know and when you look at it for some while you know it may appear to you as if it's three-dimensional you know if, if it's kind of yeah as if you can look around it when this happens, you know, this means that you have, like, you know, a really strong, like, astral connection with this person. You know, then this phenomena of three dimension happens. You know, this happened the first time when I did this with my guru, Muktananda from Siddha Yoga, just a picture. And then, of course, I realized, you know, putting a picture of a person on this symbol, you know, and, uh, you know, it purifies this picture so much that you have an actually a connection with this person, a loving connection. And it, I would say it happens and it will help the person to uplift them. And there is a resonance with this because it's all connected. Yes. So my advice is, you know, purify all your clothes, purify all your food with it. You know, have maybe one in the refrigerator, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, use it uh, wherever you can. Of course, first of all, try it out. You know, it's, it's awesome on plants too. You know, I mean, I always, you know, buy those rescue plants. <laughs> and, you know, they survive with me. You know, um, just, you know, put them on there, put some water regularly, send love. You know, they, they all survive generally. All right, my friends, um, so you can just um, go to my website, you know, link is in the description. Uh, don't use Firefox for my website, and it takes forever. You know, use another browser. <laughs> Sorry, guys, from Firefox, you know, fix that. You know, it's a WordPress program, yeah. So, um, you know, and uh, the link is down there, and you scroll down a little bit, and, you know, you right-click you know, onto the symbol, and there is a save as, you know, and you can, you know, save this to your desktop or wherever, you know, you print it out from. You know, print it on a normal 8x10. You know, do not stack these things over each other. I mean, if you do, align them properly. You know, very important. Otherwise, it creates an interference, and you know, that's kind of a nasty, you know, feeling. All right. Um... You know, um, do not uh, try to make money on this, you know, um, and I ask that the good karma, you know, goes to, you know, the person that channeled this. <laughs> you know, I remember the show, I don't know where it was, Columbia maybe, you know, some of those health ex uh, new age expos, and she was sitting on a corner and said, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> you know, nobody's interested, nobody cares, you know, so... I bought this from her, you know, I couldn't find her, and then much later on, you know, when I started playing around with this, you know, pushing chi, I realized, you know, what kind of a punch this packs, and, you know, here I am, you know, um, benefiting many, many people, you know, so I would like that good karma, you know, going to her, you know, blessings, namaste. Love you long time, you know, leave your comments, leave your experiences, you know, especially those gourmet cooks, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I drink table wines, <laughs> you know, but I'm pretty sure they taste a lot better, you know, after the treatments, mm -hmm. but, you know, share your experiences, you know, and again, we are a tribe, give me a thumbs up, you know, subscribe if you haven't, I love you long time, namaste.